Okay. Look at your um. Or look at your salmon reference sheet and find this box right here. Okay, so find that box right there and then use that box. So find that box in green that I just circled. Use that box to answer this question on the purple packet. And then show me your answer, A, B, C, D, E, or I don't know. Nope. There is not. There's only, there's only one answer that is correct. So this is number five on the purple. You should be using the box I just showed you on the salmon reference sheet to answer the question. Show me your vote. It's D. So, A, B, C, D, E, or I don't know. So some are getting it, some are not. Some are really coming from the weekend. Hands down for a second. Okay, the box that you're reading says right here F has a relative or local max when F changes increase to decrease. Uh, the problem we're working on wants us to find a relative max on F. But the trouble is, we are not given a picture of F, we're given a picture of F prime. So we can't use that part of the definition. So the salmon sheet gives us an alternative. It says, that's OK, use this. And look, on the AP test, about 95% of the time, probably 97% of the time, you're using the alternative method. You're rarely looking at F trying to identify where F has a relative max. You're almost always looking at F prime. Okay, so I go back to my graph of F prime and just raise your hand this time. Who can tell me exactly where F prime changes from having positive y coordinates to having negative y coordinates? Lucas? So right here on the graph of F prime is the spot. It's about x equal 0 0.91, y coordinate there is 0. That's where f prime changes from having positive y coordinates to having negative y coordinates. How many new? 0.2 for Lucas. Okay, now look. Okay. Look. It's way too much to memorize the back of this. That's why I don't recommend that. To me, it's a lot easier to memorize uh, one, actually just a couple simple things. So go to your salmon sheet, go to the other side. Right here, I would memorize this box. Okay. So I know that a relative max on F is when F changes increase to decrease. Uh, so when I'm working the problem, all I do is the following. I say, okay. I go to Danica's chart. That I do have memorized thoroughly. I'm trying to figure out when F makes the following type of change. Like so. But I don't get to look at F, so I can't do that. So instead, I note that on F prime, F prime needs to make this type of a change. That's how I answer the question. I always use Danica's chart. I do not use the back of the salmon sheet. It's just too much stuff for me. So this to me is simple to memorize. That's what I use. Question? Anything to explain?
explain it differently. Okay, cool, let's do it.